Hey everyone, it's Anna. Today I'm diving into a heavy but important topic. Navigating grief and emotional infidelity in new relationships. Imagine this. You've lost your first love. Someone who meant the world to you. But life moves on and you find yourself in a new relationship. Or the question is, does holding on to the memory of your first love mean you're cheating on your new partner? First off, let's clear up the legal side. Bigamy and polygamy don't apply here because your first love has passed away. You're not married to two people at once. But emotionally, things are murkier. Emotional infidelity is real. It's when your heart and mind are more invested in someone other than your current partner. If you're constantly thinking about your first love, it's natural to see you're grieving, but it can create a distance in your new relationship. Grief is personal and complex. It's okay to cherish memories of your first love. Yet it's crucial to balance this with being emotionally available for your current partner. Here's what you can do. Start with open communication. Talk to your partner about your feelings, your grief and how it impacts your relationship. Seeking professional support like therapy can also help you process these emotions and develop healthy coping strategies. Remember, self-awareness and self-compassion are key. It's okay to acknowledge your pain and give yourself time to heal. Focus on the present, appreciate your current partner and be patient with yourself. In conclusion, navigating grief while being in a new relationship is challenging but not impossible. With open communication, professional support and patience, you can honor your past while building a healthy future. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and remember, healing takes time.